Hello and welcome back to the Ambassadors of Gaming. I am one of your hosts, Ambassador Michael. And today, we will be discussing Wolfenstein Youngblood. As always, Daryl has written a, a nice little blurb for you uh, about his impressions and how he feels about the game and provided some screenshots and some footage. So let's just get right into it. Wolfenstein Youngblood is slightly different to the New Order and the New Colossus. This time, we don't play as William B.J. Blaskowitz, but we get to take on the Nazi forces as one of his twin daughters, set in 1980s Paris, set off to find their father. Being set in the 1980s, we get some new weapons as well as abilities. The game is co-op unlike previous installments, but it can be played solo. In fact, that is how I have played it so far. Visually, it's what we expect from the previous games, maybe less refined than the new Colossus, somewhat due to the nature of this game. It's as brutal as previous games have been, and still looks great in 4K. Footage here is captured on Xbox One X. We have a full weapon upgrade system and an ability tree, which is in three different categories, mind, muscle, and power, a possible way of adding a basic RPG skill system to the franchise. But we know why people play Wolfenstein. It's the first true FPS, so does it hold up to previous games? In my opinion, yes, it has. It's still as fun as previous games and can still be as frantic, but at times it can play at a slower, more methodical pace, like when you can cloak yourself or throw hatchets at the enemy. So more of an emphasis on, on stealth that the previous games had. It still feels like a Wolfenstein game. It's a fresh take, and so far, I don't think it's harmed the franchise, and the story seems well written so far. And if you have played the previous games, you will still feel right at home. We still have the various collectibles, which are great for the completionist. From looking at the game's statistics, there are seven types to collect. There are also side missions if you wish to expand that gameplay even further. If you bought the deluxe edition, you get a buddy pass and you can invite a friend to play for free. I have yet to test the co-op setup, so that will be done sometime in the future. From what I've experienced so far, it's a very good game. Personally, I don't think it beats the new Colossus, but that is not a disgrace, as I found that to be one of the best story-based FPS out there, if not the best. This is a solid entry. For fans, it's definitely worth a look. And if you stumble upon this and love it, I do fully recommend Wolfenstein The New Order, Wolfenstein The New Colossus, and Wolfenstein The Old Blood, as I believe you will love those also. So there it is, Daryl's impressions, how he feels about this new Wolfenstein game. And let me tell you, I've seen some hot takes with Daryl. This might be his hottest take yet. It's, uh, it seems that this game is a little more controversial, but we hope that you will incorporate his feedback into how you feel uh, about the game or whether or not you may purchase this game. It may be going under the radar. So we will see. Anyways, we appreciate your time and uh, Daryl's effort that he has put into this impression and we hope that we will see you in the next one if you can please do all of the engagement things like share subscribe all that kind of stuff it does help us a lot in fighting the algorithm because we are bottom tier youtube doesn't give a crap about us anyways until next time i'm ambassador michael and i will leave you with the screenshot bonus round goodbye